Hey, Chris, this is James. Uh, I'm going to go over a couple questions you had. Uh, actually, I think there was just one. I'm going to log into Cash Footprint. Um, the professional edition. So if you don't have the professional edition, that could be what's causing the issue uh, as far as not being able to save the transaction. So if I go to standard here, I'll show you the difference. Uh, standard edition doesn't allow you to put a sale and hold. So if I go to tools and then options and on the add-ons tab, it'll say available only for cash footprint professional. This is the box you want to have checked. Uh, and when that is checked, you're going to see a, a toolbar button up here. So I'll show you what that looks like for the pro version. professional so what you're going to see is under the tools and then options <laughs> there's the add-ons tab and you can check the box for enable open save of transactions some folks use it for work orders too uh, but in here you can also customize all these values so the source would be walk-in online phone order that type of thing uh, and then the different status or state of a given transaction, whether it was complete or if you're, it's open, waiting for um, pickup. Like if they did a phone order, you could change the state to waiting for pickup or packaging or that type of thing. You can customize all these just by clicking the ellipsis button here to the right, uh, add and remove, whatever you want to do. You can change things, that's fine too. Um, and then check, so just check that box, hit OK. And then you're going to see the open when there is no transaction going. So if you're in the middle of a transaction, this is gonna say save. So I'll start a transaction here. Uh, no, I don't want a customer. And then you'll see it says save. So if you're gonna save it and move on to the next customer, you just hit save. Okay, it's saved. And then ring up the next customer. I'm just gonna ring up transaction F9, 20, done. It's not enough. Do another. 20, 40, done. All right, and then I can go back and open up the first transaction. And it's only got the one item in there. And then you can cash out whatever you want and you're done. So that's how you would do it. You just go to tools and options on the add-ons tab, just turn on that enable open to save transactions. And then you'll be able to use the open and save button there on the toolbar. So if you have any other questions, Chris, feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to help. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.